Look here upon this picture, on this, the counterfeit presentment of two brothers. See what a grace was seated on this brow. Hypersons curls, the front of Jove himself, an eye like Mars to threaten and command, a station like the hell of Mercury, new lighted on a heaven kissing hill, a combination in a form it seems, where every god, god did seem to sit his seal to give the world assurance of a man. This was your husband. Look, you now, the fathers. He is your husband, like a middle of ear, blasting his wholesome brother. Have you eyes? Could you, on this fair mountain, leave to feed and back it on this wall? Ha! Have you eyes? You cannot call love, for at your age, the hate died in the blood its time, its humble, and waits upon the judgment, and what judgment would step from this to this? Since sure you have else, could you not have motion but sure that sense is a polyx? For madness would, would not err, nor sense to ecstasy was never so, so throng, but it reserves a quantity of choice to serve in such a difference. What devil was it that thus hath cozened you at huddled blind, eyes without feeling, feeling without sight, ears without hands or eyes, smelling sons all, or but a sickly part of what two sense could not so low? Could, oh, shame, where is my blush? Rebellious hell, if thou canst routine in my chant bonds. To flame in youth, let virtue be as wax, and melt in her own fire, proclaim no shame. When the compulsive adore gives the charge, since frost itself is actually doth burn, and reasons upon her will. O oh, Hamlet, speak no more. Don't turn my eyes into my very soul, and there I see such black and green spots as will not leave them. It did. Nay, but to live is the rank sweat of an insult blood, stewed in corruption, honey in a naked love, or the nasty sty? Oh, speak to me no more. These words like daggers enter in my ears. No more, sweet Hamlet. A murder and a villain? A slave is not twentieth part the teeth of your president, lord of vice kings, a cupbearer to the empire and the rule, that from himself the precious dividend stole and put in his pocket? No more! A king of shreds and patches. <laughs> Save me and hover over me with your wings heavily guards. What would you gracious figure? And uh, alas, he's mad. Do you not come your tardy son to chide? That laps the time and passion. Let's go by. The important action of your drank command. Oh, say! Do not forget this visitation. It's but to wed thy almost blood to purpose. But look, amazement that thy mother sits. All oh, step between her and her fighting soul. Conceit and weakest body, strongest work. Speak to her, Hamlet. How is it with you, lady? Alas, how is it with you that you do bend your eyes on the Kensi and with decomporal air do hold this course? Forth at your eyes, your spirits, while we peep, and as the sleeping soldiers in dull arm, your bread and hair are like light in excrements. Start up and stand an end, O gentle son. Upon the heat and flame of thy distemper, sprinkle cool patience, whereon do you look? On him! On him! Look you how pale he glares, his form and cause them joy. Preaching the stones would make them capable. Do not lack a look upon me, lest with this piteous action you convert my stern effects, then what I have to do will want true gold, tears, perhaps for blood. To whom do you speak this? Do you see nothing? Nothing at all, yet all that is, I see. Nor did you nothing here? No, nothing but ourselves. Why, look, you there. Look, how it ste steals away my father and his habitat as he lives. Look, where he goes, even now, out of the portal. This is the very coinage of your brain. This bodiless creation, ecstasy, is very cunning in. Ecstasy? My pulse is yours, doth time to sleep keep time, and makes a healthful music, and some madness that I had uttered. Bring me to the test, and I matter where we where we were, which madness would gamble from. Mother for love of grace, lay not that matter in unction to your soul. That not your trespass, but my madness speaks. It will but skin and film that ulcers place, whilst right corruption, mighty all within, infects unseen. Confess yourself to heaven, repent what's past, 
avoid what is to come, and do not spread the compost on the wheat. To make the ranker, forgive me, this is my virtue, for the fastest fatness of this person time. Virtue itself, a vice, must pardon men. Yeah, curb and woo for leave to do a good. Oh, Helen, thou hast cleft my heart in twain. Oh, throw away the worst part of it, and live the pure, pure with the other half. Good night, but go not to my uncle's bed. Assume a virtue, if you have it not, that monster custom, who all sets not thee. Look here, upon this picture and on this, the counterfeit presents of two Look here, upon this picture and on this, the counterfeit of two brothers. See what a grace I seated on in this brow. Hypersons, curls, the front of Jove himself, and I like Mars, the bright and incomplete. <laughs> Look here, upon this picture and on this, the counterfeit presents of two brothers. See what a grace was seated on his brow. Hypersons, curls, the front of Joe himself, and I like Mars, to threaten and command a station like the Herald Mercury. And. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Stein? Oh, speak to me no more. These words like daggers enter in my ears. No more, sweet Hamlet. A murder and a villain? A slave is not fully part deep of your president, lord of vice kings. A cupper to the empire to rule, that for the self the precious dividend stole, and put in his pocket? No more! A king of shreds and patches! A, a king of shreds and patches! Save me, and however over with your weight, you heavenly guard, what would your gracious figure? Alas, he's mad! Do you not call your tiny son to chide that laughs? In time of passion, let's go by the important actions of your dread command, O oh, say! Do not forget this visitation is but too wet, they are not planned in purpose. But look, amazement on their mother's sit. Oh, step between her and your fighting soul.